Okay, it's March 2nd and we're outside and we've just buried our worm tower. It's got holes all the way along the side. Plus we put holes around the top that will hopefully still remain visible even after we mulch the garden and we'll put holes in the lid eventually too. So anyway, we've put some manure already in the bottom and under the bucket itself. So Landon's gonna add uh, some aged bedding that we have and there are already some worms in there including some night crawlers that we found crawling around on our concrete the other day after a rainstorm. We find a lot of dead ones sometimes. So there's some cardboard and then we're going to put some more manure. I don't know if that's too big of a shovel full. No, it looks good. Some more manure in there. And then we're just going to put the rest of the cardboard and what we actually put as well in the cardboard is um, probably about a cup or so of coffee grounds. So it's got some coffee in it. So there goes the rest of the aged bedding. And you can see some of the night crawlers on the bottom there. And uh, do you want to pick that night crawler up there, Landon? You see the tail? Yep. There's several. So here's... It's actually a little night crawler. So they'll go in there. And we know the night crawlers live in our raised bed because these were the ones that we found when we dug the hole for the bucket. So look at these beautiful night crawlers. So they're all going to go back in this bucket with holes to, for them to come and go. Should you empty those in, please? Make sure they all come out. Now we are right next to our... Uh, worm towers that are in our greenhouse here and so I'm going to be baiting out some red worms and add a big handful of red worms to our bucket as well but in the meantime our garden tower is off to a great start with some of these night crawlers and the raised bed is um, there's no uh, there's no uh, break with the ground so if those night crawlers want to go deeper than the uh, 30 inches or so of this raised bed, they will be able to do so. And we've already got collards and leeks still from last year in the garden. So there's lot, and there's lots of manure and leaf litter that we mulched with in the fall. So there's lots of food in the garden already, but now we'll be able to feed this bucket in our garden and, uh, and have a little in-garden worm tower. I have to name it have to think of a name. Anyway, we'll check on it in a while and add some red worms. Bye everyone. So we've backfilled around the bucket and now we're going to give, we're rinsing out our bucket that we had the worms in, into there, as well as a little bit around the edges on the outside. Make sure the, the soil goes down and look at those worms. We actually are so delighted that we found so many night crawlers in our garden. And now, they're not a traditional composting worm, but we actually have holes in the bottom of this bucket as well, in the, this worm tower in the garden. So they'll be able to go deep. Um, they're not gonna be confined to this bucket at all. And this is where all our night crawlers will eventually go. All right, bye.